Am I yelling? Is this too loud? No, this is fine. This is good. Open Am I yelling? <laughs> Uh, let me give you a little bit of a, uh, I didn't give you a, a warning shot that it's spirit week this week. Um, so there's a theme every day, and today is, it's supposed to be formal day, but our seniors are a little rebellious. They went with pajamas. So if they're wearing... Of course they did. <laughs> so if they're wearing pajamas when they talk to you, they're not crazy. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is we have, we have nine seniors, nine, nine questions for you. Um, what I would like you to do first is if you just tell them a little bit about your background, where you're from, um, your schooling, um, and then, you know, a little bit about your studio space, and then we'll start with the questions if that's good with you. Well, those are all the questions, Nicholas Sanchez. Um, I am a fine artist. I paint and I draw, and that's all I can do. <laughs> um, uh, a little bit about my background. Um, it's white. There's a couple paintings back there. <laughs> no. uh, uh, I'm originally from Michigan, and um, I have two brothers, a parent, <laughs> and uh, I grew up learning how to draw. Actually, I come from a very creative family. Uh, my dad taught me how to draw, and my mom is a seamstress, and my older brother is a carpenter, and my younger brother is a vocal performance um, major. Actually, he just graduated this year, so uh, actually he's um, an unemployed opera singer. <laughs> uh, so uh, he's working on that, but uh, very talented, and I've always had a kind of family that nurtured uh, and encouraged and supported uh, my creativity. Hi, Cameron. How are you? Good. Um, my Good. question is, how and when did you know you wanted to be an artist? How and when? Yeah. Uh, that's a really uh, awkward question, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, um, like I said, I grew up, uh, this is all I knew growing up. I, I was surrounded by creativity. And um, never was I pressured into, you know, oh, uh, going into school or, or pursuing anything that's more uh, practical to uh, certain standards in society. But um, so I've always been like that that art kid in school in the corner of the room. No, no, no. I was really outgoing. No, I was super cool. I was super cool. So I was <laughs> uh, no, but I, I. I I kind of thought, okay, being in the Midwest, everybody had a more conservative, uh, although I was supported in my creativity, I was also surrounded by conservative ideas about uh, what I should do. So I thought I was going to go into art education, and I thought that was a conservative, kind of like, uh, 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 not like, it was kind of like the best thing that I could think of what to do in order to get a, uh, a paycheck uh, using my art. And I love teaching also, but um, uh, I always thought that I was going to do that. I think I didn't. I wasn't able to really consider being an artist as an actual career until I moved to New York, where I was in a city that uh, was capable of supporting uh, fine art. So when I was here, all these different opportunities started coming out of nowhere, and I'm like, what? What is this? And how does this? How come I'm just now learning about this? And Things happened pretty quickly for me, actually, and I was like, all right, I'm committing to this. So I think after I experienced a lot of different things, um, living in New York is when I decided to be an artist. Um, <laughs> oh um, how can you control your values so well when your work relies on the sequence of colors you layer? Oh, skills! <laughs> that was the best answer. <laughs> uh, Next? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I, it is, a, yeah, I mean, that, it just takes a lot of practice, and I don't know if I'm doing it well or anything, but I, I mean, it, you're, that is something that I have to think about when I am, especially when I'm drawing, uh, that, um, you know, with, with ink, you can't erase it, and every mark that you put down is part of the final drawing. It's like, oh, that's going to be a part of it now. And, um, you know, so every mark is very intentional. Everything is um, s slow. And you're right, I have to think about the value and color, so temperature. And I also have to think about, you know, detail and all of that, all at the same time with every single mark. So instead of just like, 
Oh, let me just make this dark and then I'll change the color later. Um, you can't do that. So, yeah, it's just something that I do slowly. <laughs> this year, so they've never experienced this yet, and I think that this was a great first experience for a lot of them. Awesome. Um, so, thank you again. Um, it's all down here from it's all downhill from here, guys. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with Bridget's going to ask. We got about four minutes left, so Bridget, go ahead. Is there anything you regret during the process of becoming a professional artist? Like, would you do anything differently? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Is there anything you regret in the process of becoming a professional artist? Like, would you do anything differently? Oh snap! Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, everybody has regrets, and uh, I, I think um, hmm. it's hard to say. I'm a really grateful person for all of the opportunities and experiences that I've, that I've had, um, so uh, I feel like if I have any, any regret, it would be that I wish I could slow down and savor and indulge in, in certain uh, uh, celebrations and, and really, really show the universe that I'm, that I'm, how grateful I am and, and really take it in because I think when you uh, um, respect life and you respect and appreciate uh, certain things that come your way and uh, you know it, um, it helps you it helps you connect to the next thing it helps you link to the next thing yeah thank you All right. okay thank you. Um, we did